Hello guys, this is Salukma signing in for Audio Media channel. Today we are going to look at the edit workflow of editing 4K video files from the Panasonic GH4 on Final Cut Pro. The footage from the camera is recorded onto a SD card. The SD card has to be minimum class 10 specification for it to record 4K footages. Now in FCP you click on the file menu and click new and create a library. Library is the largest container of files in FCP. I have created a new library and called it GH4 demo project. Now I need to import footages inside this project. I have already imported the footages but I will show you the procedure how it is done. You select the project, go to file, say import media. I am importing media from my external hard disk which is connected to this computer which is the photo backup. So I go down to this uh, folder GH4 Purthi shoot 23-6-2014 and inside I see a lot of footages. I can view the footages here on the screen. So I need to import all the footages. So I hit command A on the keyboard to select everything and say import all. You come to one more dialog box. Here we have an option to copy the library into the internal hard disk of the Mac. Because this data is coming from a external USB 3 hard disk, I think it is fast enough to pay the 4K files from uh, the Panasonic GH4. So I will leave the files in place. Create optimized media will create a ProRes 422 uh, version of the file. It is not required for now. I can edit the MOV files directly from GH4. I will just click find people and create smart collections after analysis. This will help me to uh, segregate the shot as per the number of people in the shot. I can analyze for balance color which I can also do later. So I will just say import. Here I already imported the file also I will cancel it out. So I close the window. This is what I get uh, after all the files are imported. So now I can view either as a thumbnail view or I can view as a list view. The list view has some advantages wherein you can see the frame size is 4096 by 2160. This is the proper academic 4K footage uh, dimensions. The frame rate is 24. The file type is QuickTime. The compression codec is a H.264 linear PCM. Start and end times and duration plus date on which content is created. All this information is available. So you know you are seeing you are editing a 4K file. If you look at the analyze results for people, you can see all the group shots in this. FCP has analyzed shots based on number of people. So it does a pretty good job in organizing the footages this way. If I click on rushes, all the footages will be available. I can view it either in this view during edit or I can use the thumbnail view which I can see each frame as a thumbnail. Now it is time to create a new project in FCP. I go click on file, new, new project. I will call this demo project. Okay. I can set the video properties based either on the first video clip or on custom. Custom will allow me to select from HD to 5K, whatever resolution I want. Uh, so I am going to set it to HD because I intend to take this for broadcast or YouTube. So with this settings, I click OK to create a new project. So the timeline is created. I have marked some clips uh, in the browser. So I am going to append this clip into the timeline by hitting the E key on the keyboard. So I can just select 
the portion of the clip that needs to be edited. Hit the E key to keep appending the clips to the timeline. Now you are seeing how easy it is to import your footages into FCP and edit here. Stay tuned for more videos to come. This is Selokumar signing out for Audio Media Channel. Thank you.